had an opportunity this week with my wife to visit our daughter in Florida and she took us to an alligator farm which we thought was pretty interesting and part of the the farm included this large swampy area and at the beginning of the swamp there was a wooden pathway that was elevated above the water that walked through the swamp. Now the swamp was very wooded and so the pathway would weave in and out of these trees and carry you just on this delightful walk through this swamp. As you entered the swamp at the beginning of the pathway there were several signs and the signs warned the people coming through that this was a swamp. This was a true natural environment and there were alligators and poisonous snakes and all kinds of unpleasant creatures living in the waters and the weeds of this swamp and that visitors should be very careful to stay on the path and uh, not touch anything as they walk through. So we start along the pathway and I'll show you a picture here of what it looked like. It was just beautiful and you never could see very far ahead on the pathway. It, it would turn off into the distance into the trees but we kind of knew where it was going to wind up because we'd seen a map before we started off on our journey. So we're walking through this swamp and just really enjoying the beauty of it. And um, we came upon a mother with two daughters. And one of the little girls was kind of horsing around. And while she was goofing around, her flip-flop that she was wearing fell off her foot into the water below the pathway. Well, we stood there and looked at it for a little bit and, and kind of said to ourselves, well, there goes that flip-flop. But much to our surprise, the mother, after scolding her daughter for being careless, laid down on the path and reached her arm through the railings on the side of the path to try to reach this flip-flop. Well, she couldn't reach it, so she actually squeezed about part of her body through this fence. And so here she is, she's hanging over the edge of this path, reaching down to grab this flip-flop. As we watched in amazement, we thought to ourselves, didn't she see the signs? Isn't she aware? that in the waters and the weeds below this path there are very dangerous creatures lurking and it's not like they're going to jump out so you can see them they like to hide and surprise their their victims as we watch this mother we imagine to ourselves what the headline might read the next day in the paper something to this effect what was she thinking well as it turned out it, everything ended well but I imagine someone who would do such a thing would probably do it again and eventually will find herself uh, paying the price for, for not following the signs that were given, the warning signs that were given. Well, we continued our journey through this, this swamp on the pathway and, and ended up just fine at the end and, and really enjoyed our day. But I got to thinking, this was a lot like life and in many ways a lot like investing. Investing and life in general really is a lot like traveling through a swamp there are a lot of dangers out there there's no doubt about it at the same time it can be a beautiful journey and there's a lot to see and a lot to enjoy but the key of increasing your likelihood of having a positive outlook a positive outcome to your journey is before you enter the swamp set upon a plan decide how you're going to get through it in investing figure out what it is you want to do to get to your end goal Imagine what that end goal looks like and formulate a plan or a path through the swamp. And then here's the key. Once you commence on that path, stay on it. Stay on the path. Stay with your goals. Stay with your plan. Avoid the temptation to leave the path. Avoid the temptation especially to reach out into the darkness and touch things that you don't know what they are. I've seen so many investors that are going along just happily through life and all of a sudden something comes in and they think oh I gotta go try that or I'm gonna go buy this let me just have some play money here doing things like that more often than not leads to disaster life can be a great journey investing can be a great journey but find a good path and stay on it this is Dan Weiss and bringing some common sense to your investing from Weiss and Financial